Makeup is definitely not a necessity, so if you want to be ultra minimal, you can just get rid of it altogether. But many minimalists do enjoy wearing it, even if it's not for every day. My makeup collection is definitely on the smaller side, but I did want to show you makeup products I would keep if I was really minimal, and that would be more than enough. But skincare routine and a healthy lifestyle, which I don't have, is so much more important than any makeup products and you can get by with wearing less makeup if you do have a healthy lifestyle and the skincare in place that works for you. Just a good base will do wonders, but I did want to share with you a list of makeup products I would also have if you want sometimes to add extra few steps and with this list of makeup products you can do multiple of versatile looks and not just for every day but for going out as well. Primer and moisturizer which is really important. We are talking versatile base here so Hamish Glow Base with SPF is a great option because it primes, hydrates and protects your skin. If you have an oily skin uh, you would be better with something like a YSL primer. It's really good for pores and stuff. I did have an SPF before as well, so this Hamish one was just an extra step. Concealer and foundation. The Merit Minimalist Complexion Stick I'm wearing the shade Dune is a two-in-one dream. It offers buildable coverage, for blemishes or evens out your entire skin tone and it's just perfect for every day. It looks super natural and the only thing I don't like that this is broken and it keeps falling out but it's fine because I do really like the product. It's still a bit like you can still see some blemishes but you definitely can build it will, if it will not keep falling out, you can definitely build it up, but I just need to be careful with opening it. But the product itself is amazing, but they definitely need to figure out the packaging of this one. My brow though is not doing too good. For brow, I definitely need to try some tinted brow gel probably. I do like to do a bit of setting spray before putting the powder on. I do really like this one, uh, it's the Kali Ray Surfproof Setting Spray, it's just hydrating and super simple, but my all-time favorite is this one from the Charlotte Tilbury. I definitely think that setting spray or like just a mist is something that will bring like the dewiness and hydration back into your skin after some makeup and I do really enjoy just spraying it all over. And I usually do let it rest a bit before I put powder on, so to keep things in place and overall smoother, I do like this Givenchy Libre Prisma setting powder. It's great for anyone, I feel like, for any kind of skin and it just smoothes and keeps everything in place and it's really nice. And I just lightly dust it all over. I love cream highlighters because I feel like they're easy and they just look the best and I do love this one as you can use it as three in one which is perfect for minimal collection. Vestman Atelier super loaded tinted highlighters as you can use it as bronzer, well specific color, as blush, as a highlighter and it's just like perfect three in one product. I have here Peau de Soleil which is bronzy one, you can use it more like as a bronzer, as a yeah bronzer, blush and highlight trio or if you're darker skin tone just like a highlighter which would be perfect and I also have this one is my favorite this is the Peau de Sante it's just perfect pinky it just adds tiny bit of color and a perfect amount of highlight which I will show you in a bit which is definitely not a necessity but like an extra product which is nice is a bronzer and a blush and I chose these two. Merit one, Merit bronzer. I wear shade 
Kish. This is a bronze balm and it's super easy to use. Literally anyone can use it and not fork it up. So it just adds a perfect amount of bronziness to your face. Just a little healthy kind of glow. And I feel like Merit in general is like perfect for minimalist makeup if you're looking for a more minimal makeup collection and four products to add to there because they're usually multi first multi multi-functional and they're perfect and super easy to use so this one is really nice because it just adds kind of a little bit of something something for blush and you can also use it as a lipstick to kind of do it as a multifunctional product. I chose this Westman Atelier Baby Chicks blush. This one I feel like it's perfect for anyone and Westman Atelier has these mini blushes which last honestly forever. So if you're looking to try, these ones are amazing. Yeah, and you can just apply it to both cheeks and lips for like a little monochromatic look. This one looks intense, but it's actually really nice. Westman Atelier blushes are also really easy to use and this is another like brand that is perfect if you are searching for more minimal and high quality makeup because their packaging and everything and just the craft behind it is really great. I'm not sure how I feel about their um, skincare yet because it's just crazy priced but I definitely want to try at some point. But yeah, it just adds a little bit of free and nice. And let me show you this now. It just adds a little bit of color and it's really, really nice. And let me show you maybe how this one looks as well. I will just show you on my hand. It's just perfect and really easy to use. All Westman Atelier products are. Um, then I feel like What's kinda important, at least for me, is mascara. Mascara is, I feel like, always a good idea to kinda just add this awakeness to your eyes. So my current favorite mascara is the Kylie mascara, so the, the Kylie Kylash Lash mascara. I do really wish they came out with the brown version. I think they will, but this one, it's really nice quality and it just stays on and the price is also pretty good. Also, what I love is this Merit, where is it? Merit Solo Shadow. I only have one color, which I use for contouring my nose. I use it for all over the eyes as an eyeshadow, and I use it also as an eyeliner sometimes. And the great thing, it's their brush as well, which is perfect for this product. Well, obviously, it's kind of made for it, but it has this little tip and this fluffy piece which is perfect to use and I love the packaging of this product as well. I have color mid-century and it's just like really nice brown. Yeah, I usually use it maybe after my nose job, I will not need to, but I usually use it here and it's really nice color and I use it all over or I really like it as a liner. I don't usually add anything else. If you want to be extra, I feel like uh, a little glitter could be good for an eye because I feel like it's such an underrated step and in the light it just brings like attention to your eyes and makes everything just prettier. For lips, for me lip oils are like an essential. I have recently bought this Bioma Lip Tight pH Lip Oil which I have been really enjoying and it's affordable and just feels really nice on the lips. Yeah, honestly, I feel like that's all you need and you don't even need this. <laughs> so like it can create a perfect minimal base. Uh, for the brushes, obviously you need some to apply, but you can also just do it with your hands. I do like for the eyes this Merit blush brush. And I do like rougher brushes for, well, anything. And the, I do really enjoy this Eye of Horse, just like simple um, 
fluffy brush for all over the skin. If you will have only a few brushes, it's good to invest in some better quality ones so they actually last you for a long time. But yeah, do the research and if you want, ask me, I tried quite a few. But yeah, remember, this is just a guide. You need to find products that work for you and for your skin and create looks that make you comfortable and confident in yourself. Yeah, let me know, do you have any minimalist routine? Do you have any products that you love and like you swear by? Let me know in the comments down below. And I hope you enjoyed this video and hope it was helpful. Let me know if you tried any of these products and I will link them all down below as well. And I will see you in another video, bye.